KDP Amazon Keyword Research. In this video, I will share with you all you need to know about KDP Amazon Keyword Research. And by the end of this video, you will have a good idea of how you can find and analyze keywords for your KDP bots. You will be able to make your bots show up on Amazon search results for those keywords, which will lead to you making more sales for your bots. Keywords are the phrases that bring traffic to our book listings and help us sell our books. Keyword research is vital in the book process as it can make or break the success of your book. Hi, I'm Tina. If you're new here, a warm welcome to my channel where we share how to find legitimate side hustles to make money online, including tips and tricks to help each other build income streams, which is a way to financial freedom. So if you like to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel. In this KDP Amazon keyword research video, I will talk about the importance of keyword research, why and how to do keyword analysis on your competitors, how Amazon algorithm indexes your KDP book keywords, how to come up with your KDP book keyword ideas, and you need to stay until the end because I will show you how you can optimize your KDP book keywords to get the most from them and also I'll be sharing with you some tips on how you can use the seven keyword slots for your KDB box. Let's drive right in. So you might have already found a category or a niche or a subcategory where you want to publish your book and now you need to find the actual topic, the main keyword for what your book will be about. If you've not found a niche yet, I have a video in the description below where I talk about how you can find a niche for your KDP box. If you have not watched that already, then you can check it out. Picking the right topic for your KDP book is a very important step in the book publishing process as it is one of the things that will determine the success of your book. Picking a bad topic, well, that's breaking the success right from the beginning. A good topic will help you market and sell your book easier. Your book will not sell if you're just targeting keywords that no one is searching. That's why you must do research to find out what people are searching for and then use those keywords in your book title, subtitle, author name, and even the book background keywords, which gives you a high chance of showing up on Amazon when there is a search for that keyword, right? Which might lead to your book being shown to potential customers and possibly getting that sale. You might have spotted that I did not mention putting keywords in the description yet. There is a reason for that. Let me just talk about how Amazon indexes keywords and actually finds your book to show up when somebody searches for it. Amazon finds your book based on keywords in different places, which are the title, the subtitle, the author's name, the back end keywords, and the ISBN of your book. ISBN, if you don't know, just stands for International Standard Book Number, which is used to identify your book. Amazon auto generates this number for your book during your publishing process, so you do not need to worry anything about that. Now, let's explore this on Amazon. It is best to use Amazon.com for your research, whether niche, keyword, market research, and everything else, because it is the biggest Amazon market platform of them all. You can use any platform you like though, whether it's .co.uk, .in, .au, and the others, but I prefer using the Amazon.com platform. Also, it is better to use incognito window because this way, Amazon results will not be personalized on you due to your search history, your purchases or anything else, okay? Let's say we are in a meditation niche and our main keyword is meditation journal for women. If you search for this keyword on amazon.com, you will see that it is coming up with over 8,000 results. By the way, when you're searching for anything on Amazon, Amazon auto suggests more keywords based on what people have been searching for in the past, in that particular topic. I have three Google Chrome extensions, Amazon Suggestion Expander, which just expands the suggested keywords list, DS Amazon Quick View, which quickly gives the information of the book, like the bestseller rank, the category where that book is, 
how many pages it has without you going to the actual book page. Both of these Chrome extensions are free, so you can download them through the links in the description below if you do not already have them and want to use them. The last one I have is Keywords Everywhere, which is a paid tool. This pulls out some data for the searched keywords like volume search per month, which is how many search volume every month people are searching for that keyword from Google though, not from Amazon because Amazon itself does not disclose this data. It is helpful just to give you an idea whether people are actually searching for the keyword or not. You can also check this out if you want. The link, I'll put it in the description below if you're interested. If we check this first page, just to analyze why these books are found on this page in terms of the keywords, these sponsored ones are ads, not organic rankings. So we will just pass them. Just before passing them, if you see that the keyword has ads on them, that means there's demand for that keyword and it is selling. Otherwise, people could not be spending their money running ads for it, right? If they are not making any money with it. That's a hint for you right there. You can refine the results by choosing new just because Amazon KDP books are always new. You can also filter by unchecking the out of stock box if it is checked because KDP books, they are print on demand. So they are never out of stock. You do this so that you want to be looking at only the book that you are in competition for, not including the others. This gives you a very good idea to see very quickly what's selling in your topic, how well they are selling, what they are doing well, what's missing, what are people saying in terms of reviews and, and everything else you want to analyze during your research. You can see the organic ranking books. Let's analyze one of these listings. Remember our main keyword is meditation journal for women. In the books category, there are a whooping over 60,000 results for this keyword. This means in all these categories, right? If you refine and go to the subcategories, the number is going to go down as it will be looking in that particular category and so forth. Like if we go to self-help, now it's 40,000. And if you go further down in happiness, self-help, then it is 4,000 results. If you hover on any of these books, the DS Amazon Quick View is the one showing a pop-up of the book details without going to the book listing itself. You are able to see all this book information. Now let's pick one book to analyze. Not all these books are self-published. So first let's see if there are any self-published books on page one. Yes, there are. Look at this book, Meditation for Beginners. It was published in September 2021. That's just about six months ago and it's already on page one and it has only 17 reviews and check out the bestseller rank, 37,000. It's doing so well. That's great news for us. That shows us that there is a chance for new self-publishers books to get to page one within a few months for this keyword if done right. There are some more independently published books. So I will pick one of them to analyze. I will just pick the one that has done well so quickly. What we are interested in is to see why this book came up when we searched for this keyword. If you press Ctrl F on a PC, which is what I'm using right now, or Command F on a Mac and type meditation. If you don't know, this command is a shortcut way of finding words or phrases in a document very quickly. You can use this on a website, on a document, PDF, it works just the same. We can see that the phrase meditation is found 35 times on this page. Let's see, one is the one we search for, the second one is the book title, there are about 10 in the book description. Others are in the suggested book titles. There are four in the author page and some are in the reviews. The meditation keyword is in this book's title, description, the author information, and it might also be in the backend keywords. So the Amazon algorithm found the keyword in the title, in the author information, and possibly in the backend keyword list and saw that the search is relevant to this book listing and it pulled it up, right? Just a note for you guys, do not repeat any keywords. Amazon ignores them. 
it does not make any difference. You're just wasting space. It's better to put a similar different keyword on there to target. If you write the whole title for this book, Meditation for Beginners, we can see that this book author is also running some ads targeting the book title along with other authors who are also running ads on the same keyword and it is also ranking organically for the keyword phrase you'll find out that most of these books has meditation and beginner in either the book title or the subtitle in them so what is this telling us it is important to put your book title as your main keyword you can add relevant keywords in your book subtitle it is also important to add the keywords in your about author information if you're liking this video hit the like button below as that helps the video to reach more people and also fuels me to make more videos on this subject for you guys earlier i mentioned that amazon does not run keywords in the book description now let's try and prove this for a bit using this book Let's copy the ISBN for this book first, then put it in the search box. The book comes up. Amazon put it up based on the ISBN. Now let's add some keywords to the end of this to see what happens. First, add the keywords from the title. Let's add meditation. The book comes up. Then beginners. The book comes up. Let's try adding the keywords from the subtitle. Quieting mind. There it is. Stress. It comes up. Focus. It comes up. You can see that adding the phrases in the title and subtitle, the book is coming up. Now let's try some from the description. Meditation. Why is it coming up then? It is because it is also in the title and Amazon algorithm checks in there to remember. So it is not coming up because of the keyword, which is in the description, but the one in the title, right? Let's check another phrase from the description. Stressed, no results. It did not actually find any results, but it just showed the book based on the ISBN on the front. Another one, physical health, no results but it is showing us that it found health. So let's try health. Now it comes up. This might be because it has been used in the background keywords. So as you can see, if you add the keywords in the description of the book, Amazon does not index them, but that does not mean the book should not have a description. The description will help sell the book too. As other customers want to know more about the book, that's when they open the description information. If written well, it can persuade the customer to make that purchase. And also because Amazon has a high rank on Google, Amazon searches shows up on Google as well. And if your keywords matches that of the search, then your book will come up. If that customer is looking to buy and see an Amazon search result, they might click and go to the book listing. And if it's your book and they like what they see, then you end up getting the sale. So adding keywords in the description will help you with that. Another thing to know is that it does not matter the order of which you put your keywords. As we have seen, Amazon will find the book regardless of the keyword order. KDP specifies that you are required to put your book title in the cover of the book. Let's check our main keyword to see what I mean. As you can see, all these books have the title on the cover of the the subtitle is not required to be on the book cover, so that's optional if you want to. But it is a chance for you to add keywords in it. Please, do not keyword starve. Amazon does not like that at all. It might just get you into trouble. 
just don't do it it's not worth it at all make sure your keywords are relevant to your book do not use irrelevant words on your book listing or other people's trademarks as that could also lead you into more trouble so how do you come up with the keyword ideas it's important to think about who is going to use or read your book what would you type into amazon search yourself to find your book that is the same way people will search to find it imagine how you would search if you were a customer start by searching your main keyword in the amazon search box look at the auto suggested keywords by amazon or the amazon auto suggestion extended chrome extension if you installed it to find highly searched words in your topic filter these keywords and pull out the ones that are relevant to your topic if you're getting irrelevant results then make some changes to the keyword by adding connectors like for to get more suggestions and make sure that you are picking phrases that people are actually searching for. Now let's talk about how to optimize keywords. What should you put in the back end seven keyword slots? Amazon allows you to have seven keywords, which are 50 characters each. I think this might be confusing at times because these are actually phrases that add up to 50 characters and not one keyword. You need to use all your space. Another tip is that you need to omit word connectors like and, the, to, for, because they are ignored by Amazon algorithm anyway. So you can just put the phrases in any order. You don't need to use full sentences. A lot of people will complain that their books are not selling. Well, check your keywords. Do they have any search volume? If not, that means people are not actually searching for this. So no one will buy if they cannot find it, especially within your title. Do not get fancy and just put a title that you think is cool for you. Well, you don't sell any books with that cool title of yours because no one will be searching for that. Another thing, see what your competitors are doing. What keywords are they using? Get some ideas from them. Do some research on what the book audience likes, what languages they speak. Then put those words or similar words in Amazon search to see what you get. You never know you will find some golden nuggets which people are not actually using and that will lead you to huge success. If you found this video informative, hit the like, share to others who might also find it useful. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe and the bell button below so that you'll be notified when I upload another video with other tips that can help you in your Amazon KDP business. If you're still looking for a niche, then check out my video on how to choose a niche, link in the description box below. Until next time, Bye-bye.